When talking about TikTok ads, there is a clear structure. And this structure we will now see in the dashboard, but at first I want to talk about it in theory. Because you have the big umbrella, which is the campaign. You have below that different ad groups and in this ad group, which is basically the target group, but an example later will help you and below that the ads. Okay. So an example would be you have the campaign shoes. So you have a e-commerce online shop about shoes or shirts and this shoe topic is the campaign. So the campaign is basically the topic or the business. So the objective, I want to sell shoes. This is why I have a TikTok campaign. Then you have different groups and these groups are your product slash your target group. On this level, we will basically only speak about the target group because here we want to make sure that the right people see the right product. For example, for ad group number one, we want to sell high heels. And for this, we create a target group of people that get to see this ad. For sneakers, we have another target group, maybe rather male people, sporty people, and here rather beauty girls and glamorous people. So you can have different products here in a campaign with the same main topic, shoes, different shoes, and also a different target group. And this is important because then you still have your business, your campaign, your main idea, but also in different ways. And you can compare, okay, maybe the high heels were pretty good so the ads on that were pretty good i should continue with this but sneakers didn't sell at all on tiktok this would be a learning could have a few different points why it didn't work for example because the the image was not good or the target group was not set perfectly but in the end you can also see okay this target group was was the right choice this product was the right choice and so on and so on and below these ad groups, you have different ads. And these ads are a combination of video and text and speech, which means this is a TikTok video. A TikTok video produced to sell a product. For example, high heels. And here I make a 30 seconds TikTok ad in a TikTok format with maybe Canva or with TikTok itself and upload it here on the website of TikTok business, TikTok ads manager. And this is then my ad that really runs. So this is played by TikTok to sell. This is played with a link, with a text, with everything. And here I can of course have different ads. So for an ad group, this is only for the target group high heels with female 25 to 30, blah, blah, blah. I have these videos. So five different videos, for example, for sneakers, different target group, different people see these five videos and so on and so on. So it's all under the campaign umbrella, but split up on different products and target groups. And then again, with different visuals, with different content, just to make sure that the right people see the right ad. Okay. We will now jump into the dashboard of the TikTok Ads Manager to see this structure also in praxis. We finished our last video here in the account setup, which was here. And now we click at the top left corner on this button campaign, which is next to dashboard. And here I see exactly this. I see the campaign. I see the ad group next to it. And then I see the ad. And this is basically everything. So I have one topic, one business, one objective. I have different products or target groups. And for these target groups, I have different content produced. 
And this is the thing here, this ad is the content that people then see. This here is only settings for target group. And this here is only the umbrella so that you know, okay, this was for this e-commerce shop. This was for this objective, this idea. Maybe this was for traffic and the other objective was then, I don't know, to getting email addresses or to really sell stuff. So selling, conversion and traffic is different. And maybe you had different objectives with then different target groups. This is all here in this little overview. Okay, in the next video, we want to talk about the campaign goals, which is basically the objective I talked about here. This is why we stay on this page. And in the next video, we click on this little create button here, just to start with the first campaign.